Hey guys, it's Chris. I'll find making this video about me talking about the iPod Touch 7th generation. And just so you know guys, this is not mine. It's my brother's by the way. I asked him if I can buy her for a bit. And he said, he said okay. Meaning like uh, he's okay with it. So, yeah. Here I am guys. <laughs> Show you guys the iPod Touch 7th generation. I am going to give this back to him once I'm done recording. And I'm going to be... Uh, but I put a touch in the case as well. Yeah, I just took it. I did took it off, guys. If you guys are wondering. So yep, that's what it looks like without the case. But yeah, it's really light, thin. That's what makes it so great about iPod Touch devices, <laughs> right? But yeah, can't believe that this got discontinued back in May 2022. But yeah. If people still own these, man, they can definitely keep it as a collection or something, or definitely use it as a MP3 player or watch YouTube. Either way, you know. And the thing about this iPod Touch Seven, it's two hundred fifty-six gigabyte. I'm gonna show you guys. So let me put the pass passcode and press on General, and I'm gonna show you guys. So yeah, here we go. General. And then I put that storage. Yeah. This device is 256 gigabyte, if you guys are wondering. And yeah, looks like my brother is uh, taking up quite a bit of space, like a quarter of it. But uh, it's still a lot, though, you know? Yeah, documents. Yeah. Interesting. You know, if you got some videos or photos you want to store, guys, store. you can install the app called Documents. You can literally like, store stuff in there, you know, if you want. And transfer them like in a computer or or a hard drive but yeah <laughs> this can be really great though storing stuff you know or downloading offline like from Netflix or <laughs> somewhere else but yeah yeah let's do an example like watch on YouTube so <laughs> I was like uh, literally like, watching like <laughs> one of my old videos but yeah, that's why that this one got in popular though. Hey guys, and Chris. For this video, I'm gonna be uh, testing out the Roblox gameplay on iPod Touch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, look how many views it got in. Anyways, uh, yeah. interesting. Have we given this nice. Bird, but Appreciate you the uh, support, guys. Recording. And yeah, so, you see how you end the video? It's basically like, uh, what it looks like while it's in the case. But this is without it. But I should be okay. I mean,. My bed, by the way. So, it's all good. Yeah, really great. It's really small, though. I mean, I'm 5'8", by the way, guys. And, yeah, my hands are <laughs> quite big. But, yeah. I know back in the days, like around 2013, the 5S, <laughs> man, it was quite small. It's quite similar, but a little bit, like, bulky. Like, see how, how uh, iPod Touch is, like, uh, that thin? So if you like combine like two iPod touches uh together, then it's basically like you're holding a 5S or something, right? Or not SE first generation. <laughs> yeah. But yep, there you have it, guys. So what it feels oh, like, yeah, you know, watching it on, test, uh, on iPod Touch. Me uh, playing Roblox on iPod Touch. So <laughs> My let's get a watch. Guys, shall we? Here we go. If you guys are wondering, I'm recording. Oh yeah, I played a game called Growing Up. <laughs> yep. I'm sorry for the bright guys. Let me oh, lower yeah, it down. There we go. And yeah, just so you know, guys. Yeah, if you're using the iPod Touch, like playing hardcore games or something on it, like Roblox, for example, or Minecraft, any game in the Apple Store, it is going to drain like crazy, guys. I know that iPod Touch 7th generation is a small battery i mean unlike the se i believe the se is like a 2000 something mah or something oh, let me go type in i'm gonna go to safari so safari and then i'm gonna type in uh, ipod touch 7. so yeah ipod yes yeah, man it's like quite small <laughs> my hand my thumb was like quite big quite huge i mean seven uh battery MAH. 
yeah check it out here guys yeah this is uh the battery it's still a great device though but yeah see like earlier it was like 70 percent now it's 69 percent yeah this can still be great but if you're gonna bring this like uh, somewhere and use it the whole day it's recommended to bring a portable battery charger with you you know bring like a couple <laughs> if it's like small or yeah you can last you the whole day if you bring a battery portable charger pack with you and then like uh we'll see like uh the sc3 the one i have right now guys see that's mine you guys are wondering yeah so uh let's go type in the uh, iphone sc three uh battery So you see mine. Wait, wait, wait. I don't think it's. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh it is. Okay, okay. <laughs> My mistake, guys. So yeah, I compare that. <laughs> yeah, you guys can definitely see the difference, right? But yeah. You know. Think about iPod touches. You can't do phone calls. No SIM card, guys. Guys, if you guys are wondering. Nope. And yeah, the good thing about iPod Touch, it has a headphone jack here. <laughs> it's still lightning cable, by the way. But yep, quite nice. Yeah. You know, if you guys are still trying to look for iPod Touch 7th generation, you can look for them on eBay or OfferUp. But just be careful, because like some of them can be... Like scam or something, you know. I believe you can still get these, uh, like refurbished from other websites or something. But like I said, guys, just be careful, like, uh, where you're buying it from, though. And just check the rating or or something. If you're like buying from Offra, for example, be sure that no scratches or, or like, uh, no broken camera lens. <laughs> Make sure the buttons are uh, functioning correctly. Yeah. yeah, I know, like, people are trying to sell these, but just be careful, guys, you know. <laughs> Watch yourself out there. But uh, if you're going to use it for gaming, I think it's better to just get the iPhone SE 3. And, yeah, it can definitely last you for a while. But maybe if you're using the SE 3, <laughs> just get a battery pack as well, you know. I mean, you can't really compare it to, like, like the iPhone Max or something, you know, the, I, I know the new phone right now is 14 Pro Max, <laughs> yeah, that thing can last you the really whole day, yeah, you can definitely game on it, but yeah, yeah, really nice, you know, oh yeah, let's go see the camera, but yep, it's a camera though, the video, Yeah. Not bad though for an iPod Touch. Yeah, I just wish that the seventh generation was Touch ID. But yeah, the thing about yeah using iPod Touch, you would have to type the passcode manually. Unlike the SC3, you could just do it like this. Boom. See, like that. But like here, you do uh, type the passcode. So. Yeah, if you guys want it, want it quicker to lock, then go with the SC3. But uh, it's still a great device. But yeah, it does drain quite a lot though. So definitely bring a battery pack with you. So yep, there you have it guys. But yeah, I'm going to go to sleep. I'm really tired. That's why I'm kind of talking a little bit guys. Yeah, just kind of tired. Came back from a long day. Like uh like real life busyness you know but I will still find the time to upload a video or something you know whenever you're on break you can I can definitely go on my YouTube and then send my per video to public but yep there you had it guys so thank you guys for watching see you guys and peace out yep great device